windy one today guys it's guessing about 25 miles an hour and there's a chance of storms later today uh, so hopefully those hold off while we're hunting but back out here gonna hunt this wetland that we did yesterday hunting a different part of it we're gonna hunt the area that's protected from the wind obviously that's gonna be kind of the more natural place the ducks want to land so we're gonna set up there uh, it's about just as warm as it was yesterday it's 86 again sunny uh, it's gonna be another warm one we're gonna we're gonna sweat again but luckily we got a good breeze to help keep us cool and more importantly keep the bugs off us because we got literally suffocated by mosquitoes coming out of the marsh yesterday it was terrible they were just suffocating like I just said it, it was so bad but this wind should keep those away which is gonna be awesome uh, there were some birds on here earlier there's none right now that we can see there might be a few ducks hit and there's a lot of cover for them they can just swim in and out from these rush and kind of wetland grasses and stuff but uh, it's just gonna be Titus and Harrison joining me today Devin has to work what do you think about today, Harrison? I think this wind's gonna help, hopefully. I'll tell you what, it's a lot cooler. That's one good thing. Yeah. It was a little warm yesterday. The mosquitoes are pretty bad, so. Yeah, we might get stormed on too. Dude, it was Dude, gnarly this morning. this morning. We went out there. Sock 10 fog. We were going on a dove hunt this morning. We seen this wall coming from the north. Literally, we're out there, it's clear, but there's a wall coming of like fog, literally. We're out there walking to that spot that you showed us. We're getting out there. By the time we get out there, it's literally engulfed in us and we can't see from here to the, what, like 150 yards? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Nice. So we're like, well, let's go scout for that. would've been cool to teal hunt in though. So the wind's right at our back and this is the most protected area on this little wetland here. So we just tuck in all our decoys pretty tight. We've got our two spinners. That's pretty much all there is to it. We just chuck your decoys out the teal. Really, you know, we've tried opening, having a hole in the middle, and they just end up landing with the decoys. So we just chuck them out in a random fashion. The results so far have been pretty good. This hot prairie sportsman guy, he's pretty good. You should check him out on YouTube. <laughs> Titus is catching up on the replay from yeah. <laughs> Day one. this weekend, yeah. Well, our wind has died down considerably. We still got a decent breeze, but not near as fast as it was. Haven't really seen much for ducks flying other than a few big ducks, some shoveler, pintail, and a few mallards. No teal though. It's crazy. Well, we've got one hour left, so this is this is the best time to see them. <laughs> Well, we have our first teal sighting of the night. I'm too dehydrated. There's one. There's one. Yeah, let's just sit down. They might pop back up over here. Hey, we're seeing them now. We're first ones we saw. Kind of slow right now. We got the millennials on their phones as usual. <laughs> hey, hey. What are you, Matt? Yeah. I removed yeah, myself from. So am I. Ask Tyler. You're, he... you're a Gen X. Yeah, aren't you? Are you? You're not a millennial. Thomas is barely in the end of it. It's like we looked this up the other day. That's why you say that. <laughs> you're Gen X, I think. Isn't that the next one? Is it Gen X or Gen Y or Gen Z? I don't know. Ying Yang. <laughs> well, there's all my black, well, my ducks that I thought were. Yeah, Titus thought these were all teal. <laughs> we wish they were. Look at that stream of them, dude. This is a Got a little less than an hour to go. We've seen our first teal, but they have not <laughs> came over. Here. Look in the pond over there. <laughs> Titus got me. <laughs> Ooh. Fly by. Can't buy a teal today. What do we see? Two? Five? 
that's a day. We literally just had a teal come and buzz us two minutes after shooting light. Two minutes. He couldn't have, you know, he couldn't have been a little faster. That's all we wanted was just one teal. But first skunk of the year in the books. That's duck hunting though. You know, it's not always limits. It's not always multiple birds or any birds. Yeah, but we still had a great time. Enjoyed the sunset. Wasn't too bad once the sun went behind the clouds and stuff. So, I mean, what else was I going to do after work today? Right. Instead, you get to hang out with cool California guys. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> nah, that's... Yeah. I, I mean, we'd be sitting in a hotel right now if we didn't come out. You know what I'm saying? We drove around a lot today and seen a lot of... Seen a lot of birds, honestly. There's still a lot of birds. I, I know. I thought we would have... Oh, I really think... I thought we were going to I really have think... Wherever those shells are from, I think they get an extra pressure. Yep. That Well, that do, definitely doesn't help. Because, I mean, us hunting here one time right. isn't going to spook them out. No. I don't know. Another, oh, well. Another great time. Though. Yeah. It's getting out here. Last hunt tomorrow. We're going to have Devin and his dog out, hopefully. For oh, another nice. four guys. We'll we see. Need, let's do the four-man limit tomorrow. Let's do it. You're going you're gonna to call it now. I'm I'm with Harrison. I'm calling it. They're, they're Four-man limit tomorrow. They're calling their shot. Let's do it. No messing around. We're shooting. We're shooting, shooting lights it. out. Super not missing tomorrow. one shot. Not missing. So we're not quite done with the day. This is their last night here in Nebraska. So we have to take them to a Nebraska state. Yeah. You ready for this? Ready for a runza? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's see what the is it? Is, are, is what we're eating called a runza? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's runza, but we're eating a runza. Yeah. Okay. It looks weird. Awesome. That sign, man. I, that's drive through. Yeah. That ice. That, those cappuccino shakes and stuff. Are good. Yeah. I'm starving. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. There they are. Nebraska staple. Runza time. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, even with the lack of birds being shot, you know, can't always be successful every time you go out. That's why you go out hunting, you know, hunting, not shooting. But if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Drop a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Guys, how is teal season in your area? Maybe dove season or early goose? Let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting videos. Like I said, we've got a whole bunch more teal hunting videos coming and then regular duck season and upland and deer and all that good stuff. We'll have hunting videos. We'll have gear reviews. We'll have unboxings whole bunch more coming so if any of that interests you be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know when a new video drops and go over there and check out titus's channel if i can point to him right there check out titus's channel mid valley mercenaries he's got a lot of great california duck hunting and he's gonna have a lot of nebraska teal hunts on there too and be sure to go out there check out the flyways collective i'm in it titus is in it jordan from duck gun chronicles is in it la for freelance duck hunting Thomas from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited, and one more. And be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations, Ducks Unlimited, Delta Waterfowl, Pheasants Forever. It doesn't matter what you hunt or fish, there's one out there for you, and they do a great job. But be sure to go out there and support them, and we will catch you out there, guys. See ya.